It's going to start with completing the square. So it says express x squared plus 8x plus 19 in the form x plus p squared plus q. So we have the middle term to start with. And that goes inside the brackets. x add 4 squared. We've now got our first number. Immediately take away 4 squared. We just square that number that we've just found out. And we've still got plus 19 that goes on the end. Don't forget that. So we need to work out 4 squared and take it away from 19. So we've got x add 4 squared minus 16 add 19. Well, that gives us x add 4 squared add 3. And that's as done. If it asks us what's p and q at this stage, I would say p equals 4 and q equals 3. Identify the nature and turning point of y equals x add 2 squared minus 13. Now with this one, you can already see it's in completed square form, so the turning point is so easy. Opposite sign for the first number, same sign for the second number. In other words, turning point is negative 2, negative 13. The nature... nature of the turning point is defined or given by the sign in front of the bracket. So, it's a positive sign in front of the bracket, that tells you that it is a minimum turning point. If it was a negative sign, it would be a maximum turning point. And there's everything you need to know for completing the square. Okay, sketching quadratics. In the 2022 National 5 exams, if you're asked to sketch a quadratic, it will be from factorised form. And you'll be asked to show the turning point, the y-intercept, and the roots. Remember, roots are just where it cuts the x-axis. Let's start with the roots, actually. To find the roots of a quadratic, we just make it equal to zero and solve the equation. There'll be a later video on solving quadratics, but let's just do this one for now. So we've got 2x minus 3, x minus 10 equals zero. Nice and easy to solve. Each bracket equals zero. So we've got 2x minus 3 is zero x minus 10 is also 0. Solve the first one, so minus 3 becomes positive 3 over 2. So it's x equals 3 over 2, and the other one, x must be 10. So we've now got our roots. Let's move to the turning point. So for the turning point, if you've got the roots, the turning point always happens in the middle of the roots. So we need to find the middle of 3 over 2 and x equals 10. There's a nice simple way to do that. Just add them up and divide by 2. So 3 over 2 plus 10 divided by 2 is what I'm going to do. That's 1.5 plus 10 over 2. That's 11.5 over 2. Get a calculator if you're unsure and you'll see that it's 5.75. Don't be put off by big numbers. If this was, I would imagine this would be a calculator question if it was going to come up for numbers like this. If it was going to be simple whole numbers, then it would be a non-calculator question. So let's move ahead and look at what happens with that number. We now need to substitute it back into find our y value because of uh, coordinates all got an x and a y. So we substitute into the original expression equation, which was 2x minus 3 and x minus 10. So I'm just x is 5.75. So I've got 2 5.75s minus 3, and I've also got 5.75 minus 10. Working out each bracket, we get 8.5 times negative 4.25. Using a calculator, we get negative 36.125. So our turning point is 5.75 and negative 36.125. We've now got our turning point, so the last thing is the y-intercept. That is just happens when x equals 0, because we're not going along the x-axis, we're just going up the y. So we just substitute x equals 0 into the original equation. So there's our equation again. So it's 2 times nothing minus 3 and 0 minus 10. That gives you negative 3 times negative 10. Negative times a negative is a positive, so positive 30. As a coordinate, that gives us 0, 30. We've now got everything we need to draw a little sketch of this. Now I'm going to do it nice and neat, but in an exam, you don't have to do it as neat as this. So there's a grid. It's a curve. And putting on all the points that we've just found out, 0, 30, 10, 0, 1.5, 0, and our turning point at the bottom. In the exam, you can get away with just sketching that and putting those points in. As long as you've labelled your points fine and it doesn't look too off, you'll be completely fine with that, okay? This has been Claire Master Day. We've been looking at the 
completing the square, finding the turning point from completing square form, and also a quick example of sketching a graph of a quadratic when it's already factorised for you. Take care, stay safe, and see you next time.